I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another Netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. I sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 305, where I'm going to show you how to return the year month index and exclude the summary items in that index that will be returned. I have here a very basic model. It has a metric called year month index, and I have months going down in my rows, and then I have years going across in the columns. And what I want to do is I want to populate these numbers here with 1 through 12, these numbers here with, I guess, 13 through 24, and then that would be 25 through 36 and so on, because I'm going to use this maybe in some select betweens or uh, maybe with some additional logic throughout my model. And in order to do this, uh, as the model is set up here, I would say year month index is actually equal to hashtag year month, right? And if I go ahead and I do that, you can see that indeed I get 1 through 12, and then in my second year I get 13 through 24, just as I would expect. Well, what happens if I were to go ahead and add a summary item here? Then uh, I, I don't really care about the summary formula per se, but what happens here is then this sum of month becomes an item that is indexed, so then this becomes 13, this one then becomes 14, and that would be incorrect because uh, these are not necessarily valid months in this analysis that I want to uh, conduct. So how can I get this to read really nothing, but more importantly, how can I get this to read 13 and then this month here, month 12, to read uh, 24, and for the subsequent months here in between to be really the correct, the correct month, ignoring the summary item. How I do that is I simply go out and I say year month index is equal to my year and my month, but then I want to subtract from that year month index number of years that I'm on. And if I hit hashtag year, okay, uh, what that brings back is that brings back one here. If I'm in year two, it'll bring back two, three, four, and five, of course, if I'm on the fifth year. And then what I need to do is I need to then just decrement from that one, one uh, value. And then in addition to that formula, I would go ahead and I would say skip uh, sum of month as to avoid any confusion here. And you can see that I have 1 through 12 indexed beautifully here, and then I have 13 through 24 indexed uh, just the way I would expect them to be indexed if I did not have a uh, an additional summary item. So that is how I would do that to get the correct index uh, for my year month. I have a summary item. If you have any questions about Quantrix, I really do hope that you'll reach out to me at quantrixauthority at gmail.com. I check my email throughout the day, and I think, man, when is somebody going to ask me a Quantrix question and make my day so that I can help them and improve their lives? So please make my day and improve. help me improve your life by asking me a Quantrix question so that I may answer it for you. And I hope that you will join me again uh, for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez. Today's podcast is brought to you by QuantrixAuthority.com. I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master.